Hey guys, it's back with Johnny Tech Review and hope you guys are all doing well. So recently a company reached out to me and want me to test out one of the LED light. I did a lot of smart home stuff in this house, so uh, I guess I'd like to give this a try. This is from a company for, called Mingo. And what this is, is an LED light strip. I have used many of these before, but what makes it special is that this one is smart. So it connects to your Wi-Fi and then you can use with Alexa. Uh, Google Home and stuff like that. So let's take a look inside and see what's going on here. So these are supposed to be 16 million RGB color and uh, they say they use Wi-Fi but only 2.4 gigahertz so keep that in mind. So here is what it look like inside. We have some product information. The LED lights themselves like the LEDs are self-heated with 3M tapes look like it. So it look like we have some tape here to hold them in place. Some adhesive to clean up. We have a power adapter cable about 5 feet of this cable. And then here we have the light. There's about 16 feet of these in this row. It looks like it's already pre-made like this and then it looks like you can cut these little different intervals you want to. So here's our little user menu, pretty small. And here it has instruction that asks you to download the app called Goofy Home, iOS and Android. And of course it supports Alexa here, some instruction. Alexa, turn on the kitchen floor light. Alexa, change the kitchen floor light color to green. Alexa, change the kitchen floor light color to purple. So as you can see, it works pretty well here when we're trying to use Alexa. The response is quite fast. So Alexa, of course, is to Wi-Fi. The Controller is at the bottom of this cabinet. There's three buttons on that controller and I'll explain that in a second here. So with that controller is accessing my Wi-Fi access point which is on the second floor. I checked the Wi-Fi access point and I'm getting about, I would say 70% uh, as far as uh, reception. So it's not terrible. Uh, the controller is really small initially. I did have some issues connecting with it. I had to do it two or three times. Uh, but one is established Wi-Fi, it was good to go. So the app that I'm using is called Goofy Home. This app right here. Uh, you do have to sign up for an account when you first launch it. Uh, but after you launch it, this is what you can expect. So in the app, uh, I currently have one device. This is the kitchen light right here. Um, and you can add additional one. If you click this add button here, you get a list of options, which is what Goofy Light supported. So at the bottom here, we have some option uh, products, savvy user, which is kind of like a, a reviewer kind of thing. If you want to do that, um, you have to join it. Um, my devices, again, uh, fast service, this is how you can get replacement, you can have question, customer service access is right here, and profile is my current account access, which you can set up right here. Right after back on the controller, again, there's three buttons uh, to turn it on and off. One is to change the different color, cycle to the various different color, and then the other option is there's a button to set to different uh, audio activated mode. Uh, so here within the app, um, you have access to that light right there, I call it kitchen light. It's going to try to connect it using Bluetooth. Uh, with Bluetooth you have a uh, quick access control of it but of course with Alexa it's actually going to uh, the Wi-Fi so if you're far away you can actually control this using the Wi-Fi it will to Alexa. Here within Bluetooth range it's going to pick up Bluetooth and then you have faster in access. Here you can change the color as you can see. Uh, I can change this bar down here. Uh, various different color as you can see right here and you can have various different shades, a lot of options. They say it's 60 million light but this picker here is what the option you get currently. Uh, and then here you can change to quickly define this color and change them. So you have the color mode, uh, you have the scene mode which you can pick different kind of scene right here, movies, different kind of scene. Um, and here uh, you have some other options, snowflake. So there's a few different predefined scene that does this kind of stuff and it changes color and it does all kind of thing. Uh, in here you also have a music mode and in this music mode you have four different modes. Right now, as you can see, as I'm talking, that microphone at the bottom of that controller is picking it up. So that controller is picking this up and you have this one is called Energetic, which is basically a spectrum in the middle and it changed to different color. You have the uh, Rhythm, which is kind of like a flashing in different color, as you can see right now. You can see here the spectrum is picking up the, the wave analyzer and then you can change to different color to pick up that spectrum. As you can see, now it's a different color. So then finally you have the rolling mode. The rolling mode basically Pick up star in the middle of the strip and then it just kind of bounce out and you can change the different color. Hello, hello, hello. So that's again. Uh, 
You can kind of see that. My favorite mode is the energetic mode, which basically start in the middle and bounce out and change to different color. This is really good for music. Uh, so I have the Alexa speak up there. And when she talk and she play music, it will basically bounce and follow it. It's really cool. So some other features that you see here is the timer setting. You can also set timer. Uh, look like there's a new firmware that's been found here also. I haven't updated. So this was just installed about two weeks ago. Uh, there was no new firmware, so it looks like now we have a new firmware. That's pretty cool. Um, here, brightness control, of course, you can do that. Um, usually with this music, you want it as bright as you can, obviously. So one thing I noticed here that is while it's in this energetic mode and connecting to my phone, Alexa is not uh, responding to changing the color. So let's go into the Alexa app and see what it's showing. This cue here is from Goofy Home, as you can see. And in the Goofy Home, you can, uh, these are the, some of the instructions that you can, can tell it right here. Again, not really a lot of instruction, so you kind of have played around with it to kind of figure out what, what is possible. But if we go to devices, for example, and I go to kitchen, uh, this is where that light is, the floor light here. So here in the kitchen light, you can set different color. And here are some of my options. So I'm going to change it to white. Again, it's not responding uh, because I think it's in that mode where it's connecting to my phone. I'm going to go back and change it back to color. Uh, there you go. And I'm going to go back to Alexa here and, and then I can change different color here within Alexa. As you can see, it's responding now. So one thing that I noticed here again is that if you're in that uh, music mode, uh, to get out of it, you basically have to uh, make sure your phone is turned off, but you can press the button at the controller there to change it. But if you're in that mode, it doesn't look like it's going to respond to anything uh, from your voice command to Alexa, so you have to make sure that you turn that more off. Due to design, this controller is actually not detachable, so you do have to basically stick this controller on the outside of the cabinet, unless you want to drill a hole this side and feed it through. So what happened is I just have this at the bottom of the cabinet, which is easy accessible anyway, that's what you want to do. Uh, this is an accidental discovery, but because of how big this thing is, and I had to put it outside, the end result is that it actually pick up sound a lot better. Imagine if I put this controller inside a cabinet, it would not pick up sound as well. So the light is viewable from this angle. You open the cabinet, I have it installed really close to the, the ledge here. Uh, but when you close that door, of course, you can't really see the, the light strip anymore. So it just depends. I had some extra space. I just decided to put it very close to the edge. So in my experience, anything bad to say, really, I think the biggest uh, thing was the installation process as far as the apps. So installation was easy, but installing the app and connecting it, um, it works really well. It picked up Bluetooth immediately, no problem at all. And that was really fast. But after that, I had to try the Wi-Fi twice. Um, keep in mind that it only support 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Uh, so for me, it's running on only 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Uh, but it took me two try, and on the second try, it stayed connected and it stick. And after that, it works pretty well, so I don't have any problem with it. Again, thank you for Goofy for sending this unit for me to review. They did uh, told me that there was a giveaway on their Facebook, so I'll leave a link in the description box down below if you guys want to take a look at that. Other than that, um, really nice unit. Let me know if you have any questions on how to operate, anything like that. Uh, I won't, didn't want to make the video too long, but I want to give you guys an idea of my experience of using this uh, unit. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, please give it a thumb up. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more interesting future review. Thank you and have a good week.